Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is World of Wayne. It's Wednesday, uh, it's going to be Wheelie Wednesday, I think that's what we're calling it now. Uh, we've got the next poker build of the Ducati 1299 Penegali R Final Edition. Now I'll tell you now, having a bit of a nightmare today, uh, even though we have created this and you're about to see me create that, um, stupid me. Didn't have my microphone on. Even though I was wearing my lavalier mic, I didn't have it on. So I have had to use the microphone that I've got built into the camera. So for the first half of this, it's going to be a bit ropey sound, unfortunately. But then I do realise my error. I shake my head in disbelief. And then the uh, sound's a lot better at the end. So <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but we have created this. And there's no way I could take a lot of this apart. Because it's all glued in. A lot of it's glued in anyway. So hopefully you can follow along. Uh, but this is the next part of the Ducati bike build. So, so far, this is the engine. We've completed that. And then this stage, we're going to be building onto the exhaust system that we were doing in the last video last week. Uh, we've also going to be working with this section here and mounting all of this to the engine today. Okay, so in today's build, we're going to continue on with the exhaust. So we're going to be taking these two sections here first, lining them up, and quite simply, they're going together, held in with J screws. Just need two of those, so one there, nice and tight, and then one just on the other side here. We're then going to be taking this section here, and this is just going to sit on the top this way round, just into that sort of recess there. Now once again, it's going to be held in with a screw here. Screw of choice seems to be the J screw, so I'll put another J screw in here. And that will make that nice and tight. Excellent. And then we're going to take the other side of this box and check the detailing out on this. Already detailed, no decals to actually put on that. And that's just going to go over the top of this section. Fitting in like that. And it's held in from this side with two L screws. So one there. And one on this side here. So that's complete, and that looks just like that. Now on the other side, it's a lot easier because we haven't got an exhaust coming off of it. So it's basically just these two parts going together, just like that. Once again, two L screws for each of these holes. Now I don't know why, but on this one, it is suggesting to put some glue in here as well. Now I'll put some glue in the inside. I'm just gonna put some glue just down the seam here absolutely no idea why it didn't ask me to do that for the other one the screws don't really hold it that tight i have to say so that might be the reason why there so what i might do it's being very quiet then is i might just glue the other side as well just to ensure that this doesn't come undone. Didn't ask us to do this side, just so you know, but it just seems strange that they want us to do one side and not the other. Now with this box that we created first, we're gonna bring over the exhaust that we had last time, and we're gonna be attaching this point here just to the U-shaped point there, like that. It's gonna be held in with a size Q screw. So as you can see, this is a flange screw. Put that down here. Definitely gonna need a bit more of a heavy duty screwdriver on this. Excellent. And that's fit in perfectly, just like that. I'm just going to put these two pieces to one side for a second because we're going to be making another part of the exhaust here and for that we're going to need quite a few bits especially this again check the uh, detailing of that out that's excellent we're also going to need these metal gauzes in here so i'll get these out two of them and quite simply what's going to happen is we're going to be taking this uh, outer here dropping the gauze into it like that 
and then piecing these two parts together. So they're going this way round. There is sort of like a, a notch for them to go, so they look like that. But we do need to put some glue just into these points here to keep that into place. I am using my uh, contact cement that goes into the joint here for capillary action to keep that into place. That's one and two. The reason I'm not using my normal super glue is uh, I think it'll probably be a bit overkill <laughs> for these pieces because they are very lightweight. But there we go, that's in like that. And then just put this, is gonna go into the side like that. Again, we just need to glue that into place. That looks quite impressive really doesn't it so just do the same on that side and that is all in that looks really really good we're well, going to be matching this section here off with this section below it so obviously this is just going to match the shape it's going to go in just like that and this is held in with j screws now even though there's tons of holes in here it's only three j screws we're putting in so one in here one in the opposite side over here. And then just one in this middle piece here. Now we're gonna need a single K screw here. Lots of screws on this build because we're gonna be attaching this to this section just here. So first thing to do is we're gonna put these two bits together. As you see, we've got some anchor clips here. Just make sure that these lugs go underneath here, line it up and push it together. That was hard work, but they're in just like that. Then we're going to be attaching this top piece over here, like I said, with a K screw. Get that lined up. And again, a heavy duty screwdriver just to get that all the way in. And there we go. That's that bit of the exhaust finished. Quite impressive. Now we're going to start putting everything on the engine holding the engine this way around we're going to be offering this section that we made in the last stage over the top here make sure i'm not trapping any wires so i'm just going to move that wire out the way put that into place there now that's going to be held in with some p screws just on the top there excellent and then i'm just going to put in another three screws here now the pipe on the top here that looks like that it's just going to go into this little channel here so I'm just going to rotate that around a bit just the end so I can get this in oh, keep turning there you go then that's going to fit in perfectly like that that's held in just with a J screw can't believe we're like three videos in <laughs> we're still building the engine <laughs> So I just want to review these pipes. I've taken the one out that I put in here because it's actually this pipe that goes in. So I'm just going to line that up and put that in. So it goes underneath the channel here. Make sure that's pushed in all the way. So now that can't move. And then on the other side here, now that one's strange because we did go behind this unit, but we've installed all of this in the way. So I think that's uh, in the wrong order there, but uh, I've got that pipe in no problem. So we've got that one looking like that this side. And on the other side, that one looking like that. And now the bum begins. I've just lied that on its side because now we're going to be attaching the exhaust. So I'm going to have it how they have it in the instructions here. I think that's going to help me out. And this is just going to mount either side under here, just like that. That just went in absolutely perfectly. So the first thing I'm going to do is the joint at the top here where that meets the engine, that's going to be held in with J screws. Now it only takes two J screws on that side. We've also got some linkages just at the top here. Again, J screws to keep that into place. One, three this time I believe. And then the two points just at the front of the engine here are held in with size A screws. Now it hasn't asked me to attach these ones at the back yet on this side 
or this side here. So I'm not going to do that until it tells me to do so. But uh, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? Once again, I apologise for the sound at the first start of this because uh, I didn't have the right microphone on. Typical me. It uh, looks like we're going to start on the cooling system now. So this is the instructions. This is what we're going to be working from. I have already got these pieces together. Now these are ginormous metal pieces here. And we've also got what looks to be a uh, radiator grill here. That's just going to go over the top and it's going to be held in from this side with K-screws. I'm going to be mounting this into this side of the frame. Just like that. And then once again on this side, held in with K-screws. I've got this brace at the bottom here. It's just going to go over the top of these two sections and screwed into the two plates here and here with size A screws. So one there. I have put these in a little bit of oil because this is all metal. So when that's done, that should look just like that. So the next section took a while to dig out all the parts that I need for it. Uh, but we're going to be starting with this metal piece looking just like that. Now underneath that, we've got this uh, piece here, which is just going to go underneath this section like this. And we've got the spindle here, which looks like this at both ends, which is just going to go in between these sections here. We want to hold them together with a P screw just down the top. Now this is going to be going into this metal base just here, but once again, we need to make sure we've got one of these discs this time this way round. So then that's going to go in just like that, held in from the underside with a P-screw. And I'll just make that nice and tight. So next thing we do is going to get this wheel and the cap that goes at the end. I'm just going to put that into the bottom here. So it looks like that. And that's going to be actually screwed to the hexagonal nut side. It's got a little plastic shape of that on top there, just with a size O screw. And make sure that's in nice and tight. Perfect, so that looks like that. Now the other side of that is actually going into this section here, which means, as you can see, I've put this in the wrong order. I have to take this out to put that bit in first. First time I've done it uh, this time. Uh, I've noticed that I'm doing it a lot more in this build though. There's no numbers on this one to tell me what order to do it in, unfortunately. So, <laughs> get that in place just on here. Make sure it's screwed in nice and tight. Excellent. And then once again, I can put this back into where it goes. <laughs> So there you go, that's now looking like that. All we're gonna do now is put this base on and that's just gonna fit over the top like this. That's held in with two C screws here. And then finally, just into this little gap here, we've got a, a little detail here just to clip into the holes, just like that. It does hold itself in, they are suggesting gluing that, but I'll tell you what, that's never coming out again. I don't think I can get that out even with a screwdriver. Uh, and that's that section just complete. And then all we're gonna do is just bring these two parts together and just slide them into the semicircular recess that we see there. So this one's gonna go, get this in on the top. This one's in the bottom. And there you go, that is in place like that. Now in the next stage, we are creating a lot more to add to this. So I think I am gonna leave that for another video. Uh, and then as you look at it here, it looks like we're starting to build the frame, putting everything together, making the wheels, and then not a lot to do. Tracks, then the bike will be completely made. <laughs> So just to review what we've made today, we've started making this section here, looking like that. And probably the best thing that we've got at the moment, check that out, is the whole engine with the exhaust system on it. Looking like that, it's a brilliant build, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry about the sound at the start of this video, silly me, I uh, had my microphone turned off, even though I was wearing it, I had it turned off. Why I did that, I haven't got a clue. Must be Wednesday. Perhaps that should go on the accident board as well. <laughs> who knows anyway listen i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care